Now, this model kit review is of the 1969 Dodge Daytona Charger, and uh, this is a 125th scale model. Um, and it's by Ravel Monogram, it's part of the Pro Modeler series, so it usually means uh, slightly better quality as well as occasionally photo etched parts, which, which this, uh, this model has photo etched parts. Uh, this Daytona Charger was actually um, part of NASCAR and uh, it had a 426 uh, Hemi engine in it, uh, which is a very unique design, some of the colors needed there for the model. And some pictures of the model, two different versions, and uh, let's have a look inside. So over here we have, uh, these are our photo etched parts for our grill, fans, some engine parts. Over here we have our uh, clear sprue with our uh, lights as well as our uh, windshield uh, We have those uh, classic wheels You can see reasonably detailed. These are hard vinyl not rubber Let's cut these up in here. These are our chrome parts and the older, uh, even some of the newer, uh, newer uh, Ravel parts, I really don't like the way that these are molded or painted. You have to strip them down and then uh, respray them. But we have some engine parts here, our gear lever here, bumper, wheels, windshield wipers, some other, um, this looks like our door handles here, some other body parts, and the other wheels if you wanted to use those. Take a look at these other sprues here. So here we have our engine parts and our fan blade. We've got wheel parts, more engine parts here, oil pan. The uh, molding quality is pretty good, reasonably well molded. Don't see any mold lines. This looks like our dashboard and probably part of our roll cage. Here we have our seat, the uh, back part as well. And uh, looks like probably part of our suspension. Here we have uh, another part that came off here. More parts for the engine. Looks like probably the other engine, uh, some wheel parts, as well as our headers, part of the roll cage with our uh, fire extinguisher, and our steering wheel, all fairly well molded. Here is the uh, body, and uh, also nicely molded, some nice details here for the inside of the um, engine bay, some nice clean lines, as well as uh, good molding on the inside. This is our uh, the cockpit floor, as well as the tunnel for the uh, transmission and uh, leading to the back. Uh, here's the inside of our uh, doors. Nicely molded with bench seats. Here we have our other seats, just depending on which version you wanted to make, as well as the uh, chassis. Some nice uh, detail there. And then the engine mounts. Here we have our uh, Tail lights, it's the only parts here in red. We've got our nose, the classic Daytona Georgia nose. Here's the uh, rear 
bumper, parts of our uh, engine bay, and then uh, steering and sway bar. This looks like this might be the uh, oil filter. Here we have our radiator and fan shroud. This is part of our uh, probably rear suspension. And then front suspension. Here we have our exhausts and mufflers. Here's the transmission, nicely molded. And uh, we've got our belt drives. Over here is the, uh, the pedal box and our suspension parts. Here's our uh, rear axle and the differential. There's the, uh, I guess this must be the street version of the dashboard. Lastly, we have the hood. There's another steering wheel, steering column over there. Some more uh, parts for the engine and transmission. There's a distributor cap there, center console. This is the tail for the uh, for the back. So all in all, actually fairly well molded. And let's have a look at our decals here. This is an older model kit, but uh, it's a nice decal. Still pretty good, uh, good shape. And let's have a look at our instructions. So here's some details about the car. And there are the colors needed. We start off with the uh, engine. So this is if you want to build a stock engine. And they actually have a display stand. If you wanted to put an engine on the stand, you could. And uh, there's a picture of the actual car's engine. And then we start to build the cockpits and uh, put the sides, dashboard, and seats in. We build the inside of the uh, car, including the uh, glass and the engine bay. We mount the engine and the cockpit in front of the body. That's all for the stock car. Here's our so, this is the exhausts and then the suspension parts. That's the rear suspension and axle, and then the wheels go on over there. Um, and then you can make the uh, spoiler in the front with that nose. So that's all for the stock car. Oh, more stuff here. There's the back with the lights and the hood. And then the tail and extra body parts. And then decals going on there. So this is the racing version, and uh, there's the uh, engine being built, transmission going on there. Next we build the uh, cockpit, this one's got a race cage, and uh, only one seat. Not a lot uh, happening on that uh, dashboard. Then we build the uh, inside of the body, with the glass going on and then mount it all to the chassis. Then our exhausts go on. Um, I didn't have the same mufflers. Looks like we uh, then put on our suspension on the front. Rear suspension and tires going on. And uh, then the front goes on there. Next our back and lights, bumper hood all get put on along with that tail and the rest of the body parts. And then here is the uh, racing decal placement. So, I only saw one set of tires here. Now here's the other set. And this looks like this is the racing version of tires. And uh, also hard vinyl. Uh, with some nice detail there on those tires. So all in all, very nice model kit. Uh, fairly detailed, fairly well molded.